Hello, today we show you how to unpack and assemble the Syncrider X7 Pro Smart Trainer. First, let's open the package. If you do this alone, you can turn over the box so that you don't need others' help. Open the box and unpack the foam and the X7 Smart Trainer is inside. Take out the power adapter box and turn the trainer's form and you will find the accessory bag under the trainer. Then take out the accessory bag and the X7 trainer body as well. Please put the form back and keep the box appropriately in case of after sales needs. Next, let's check all the items inside the box. First of course, the X7 Pro trainer body. Second is a power adapter box, which includes two wires. Then the accessory bag includes an USB and plus receiver, the user menu, special quick release for the smart trainer, and the small bag inside the accessory bag includes the converters for quick release and the converters for through axle. The last item is the cassette spacer. Next, let's install the cassette onto the smart trainer. First, you should prepare the cassette tools. The spacer from the accessory bag is for the 8, 9, and 10 speed cassette. 11-speed cassette doesn't need the spacer. Spin the Shimano free hub and find the concave which wider than the others. Turn over the cassette and you can find a wider convex corresponding to the free hub. Aim convex to the concave and push the cassette to the bottom. And install the rest of the cassette parts using the same method. Next, use the cassette tools to lock the cassette lid. Use a wrench to lock the lid to the appropriate torque. The torque is about 35 to 50 newton meters. If you use a Compagnolo or Strong XDR cassette, you can ask the dealers for the free hub. Then choose the correct converters for your back. The left pair is for the quick release and the right pair is for through axle. Insert the converters into the trainer and, uh, and install the non-drive side in this direction. It's for the 130 quick release bags. Turn over the converter on the non-drive side and it's for the 135 quick release. The installation of through axle is almost the same. Insert the Converters in this direction and uh, it's for 142 through Excel, aka the road disk size. Turn over the converter on the non-drive side and it's for the MTB 148 through Excel. After the installation of the cassette, let's unfold the legs of the trainer. Push the silver button and unfold the legs at the same time. There will be a click sound when the leg is installed in place. Unfold the legs on both sides. Then adjust the height of the legs. We should keep the middle part of the trainer away from the ground. Built from the front, the middle of the trainer has been levitated so that it can allow the trainer to swing 5 degrees. Next, remove the rear wheel of your bike. You should push the shifters to the minimum cassette first, and it's easier to remove the wheel on the minimum cassette. Then remove the quick release or through axle. In the video, my bike is strong access disc. If you use a quick release system, the disassemble process is almost the same. The rear wheel is taken down. You need to put a gasket into the disc brake to avoid the brake stuck if you use a disc bike. Next, install the bike to the trainer. Aim the chain to the minimum cassette and put the bike onto the trainer's converters. Then, screw on the quick release or the through axle. After the installation, you can push the crank to make sure the chain and the shifter are in the right place. 
If you bike use a quick release, please make sure the smaller head of the spring is inward. Plug in the power source of the trainer. After plugging in, the indicator light of Antplus and Bluetooth is light up. The 5 digits of Antplus number is also at the back of the trainer. After first installation, we recommend you to do a calibration. Search for Syncrider Tools in App Store or Google Play. Download it and open the app. Click Recreation Calibration and then connect your trainer according to the Antiplus number. Enter the calibration interface after connection your trainer. Warm up a bit for about 2 minutes before calibration and do a little accelerate to 36 kph. Then start pedaling and do not impede the motion of inertial wheel. Wait for the result. The app will notice you when the calibration was all done. The firmware update operation is similar. Click X7, connect the trainer, and click Upgrade, and the firmware will be upgraded. You can play 3D games and do some races after all this. Open Zwift, click the power meter source, and then you can see the X7 signal. Connect the trainer to your phone, and you can also connect the heart rate or cadence sensors if you have them. Click Start. Choose the course you want, and ride on.